people who are great negotiators. They have the gift of the gab and they know how to get great deals on just about anything they want. So how do they do it? Serena Russo is an employment expert who knows all the secrets and she joins us now. Serena, thank you. Hi. 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 Hello. 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 How exciting! We're talking about negotiation. That's yeah. right. There's, wow. there's, there's often there's often um, kind of the the idea that men are better negotiators than women. Well, you why know, is that not true? Of course, of course, it's well, not. No. Well, well, you know, I life. mean, like it's all about the ability, not whether you're a man or a woman. Uh, men, men are pushy. I think Sheryl Sandberg wrote about this. She called it the sort of leaning in that men are, are pushier and they're more confident and they'll ask for more stuff. They'll be more demanding and eventually people just give up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I've been in that situation and we've all been in the situation in our business where I've, I've sat there with a the company on. No, no, that's my price. Take it or leave it. And I went, well, we're going to leave it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, so I actually um, don't think it's a gender issue. Mm. I think it's a skill issue. Mm. Um, I really do. I think um, every time you negotiate, you have to determine what is what it is you want, right? Then once you've determined that, um, then you've got to remember the psychology and you've got to also understand who you're negotiating with. So you've really got to understand your negotiator, right? Yes. Um, mm -hmm. Like the mortgagee and mortgagor, right? With the bank. So you read tips. up a yeah. lot. What are the tips? Well, you know, I think that firstly, um, what's really, really important is that you know who you're negotiating yeah. with. Mm -hmm. The next thing I think is also understanding that there are two things in, fa uh, in life that causes failure. One is impatience and the other one is greed. If you get too greedy, oh, you yeah. lose the deal, right? Mm. Yes. Do you agree? Oh, that's what I was but talking about before. they yeah. expect the worst? I mean, what is the worst? Not, well, get, not getting the job. Exactly. Well, you know, the worst scenario is can you live with that? Can you live with the worst yeah. scenario? And then if you can, the good will take care of itself. So that's really, really important. But the other thing I was going to share is that um, if it's relating to a job, the first thing you do is you've got to win the job. There's no point in negotiating big time because then you will yeah. lose the opportunity of a job. So my advice is get into the organisation, show them what you can do and then negotiate after you've determined what you are good at and what you can contribute as an asset to the organisation. And what about being prepared Well, that's the, also those hard questions? Correct, correct, Jessica. Preparation is a skill of life. Daily discipline is very, very important. It's like exercise. If you want to do a marathon, you should always exercise and always prepare yourself mm -hmm. in every aspect of your life. Psychology, 80% of what we do is psychology and 20% is facts. Mm. So it's very, very important, firstly, to understand where you're at, who your audience is, and then psychologically have a leap of faith in your own ability, mm. get the job, and then negotiate. I really like the next one, because this is one of the absolute greatest truisms in life, and it's, I'm staggered that people uh, don't know it, because I know from covering politics, it's never the crime, it's the cover-up. But this one, never lie in a negotiation, because you'll you always get that? caught. Tell us about that. Well, of course, um, you know, um, once you lie, uh, you've lost your integrity. And you, oh, sorry, but your integrity is everything. It's absolutely everything. Mm. If you haven't got, um, you know, true integrity and true ability, uh, you've lost your brand and you've lost your reputation. So if you lie about skills, for instance, is that oh, what you're talking about? Or you disaster. lie about what you think that's you can disaster. do? That's a disaster. It's better yeah, sure. to say, I can't do it, but I'm prepared to learn, mm. than say, I can do it. What about fudging, got... though? Lied. Exactly. Who, who, we'll get found out. You're talking to someone who exactly. lied who, who lied 20 years ago to Triple J Radio and said, I knew how to operate. Lied 20 years ago to Triple J Radio and said, I knew how to operate. Lied 20 years ago to Triple J Radio and said, I knew how to operate a panel and took, oh. the, and took the station off air. 15 times my first shift. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, management slept through it. Um, <laughs> true story. Now, the, the most important one, too, is don't get fixated on the money. Oh, exactly. Money is really not irrelevant, but money comes when you can actually, um, you know, build on your mm. skill set, your capability, um, yeah. you know, your reputation, your brand. Uh, never work for money, work for personal development. Mm. Oh, that's good. And is it true yeah. that in a negotiation, whoever speaks first loses the power? Well, that's an, oh, well, yeah, that's an old-fashioned tip. I really do believe you've got to once again understand your audience. You may have more than one person you're negotiating with. Always make sure that you include every panel, um, you know, in your negotiation. And once again, you've got to, a deal is about both parties winning. If only one party is winning, it's not a deal. Some, you know, down the track you will lose. I so I think it's really, really important. Oh, no, you I, said I, be you... prepared. Sorry, Mike. You said Sorry. be prepared. I, I was often amazed at the people who would come to see me about a job. And if you said, did you read the paper this morning or have you looked at the latest mm. issue of the magazine? Sometimes they said no, and that's a minus straight away, mm -hmm. you know. So how prepared and how do people get prepared? 
Well, you know, once again, you know, um, John. Well, maybe live in that case and say, yes, I have read it. <laughs> no, no, no. Live then, I would, you then I would ask I, you which article I you know. like best. Yeah, I, I always know. think you should always um, search the company that you're applying mm -hmm. for a job. I think that that shows that you're really interested in the organisation. You love the products, you love the services. Uh, I think that's all very, very important. I mean, uh, you know, I'm very excited you're having a boy. You know, you've told the world and, and we're really, really um, amazed that you gave that information out. But how exciting is that now that, you know, people today have can access information than ever before through the smartphone, through the Google. Mm. So absolutely search your company, search the products and services and find something that you like about that company. Mm. Otherwise, mm. you're never going to win. Yes. Serena Russo, thank you very much for coming in and sharing you, your Sarah. negotiating tips with us. Great. Thank you. Still to come on to the O10, how to handle...